have a nice day everyone i will continue to to explain two points two important points in chapter 28 the fuel system for airframe the first point is the water drain water drain from the fuel tanks how water contaminate in the tanks look for take a look for air AC advisor circular number 20 dash 125 this is the FAA and this is the when you want to download the advisory circle here this speaks about how water contamination and how to protect the tanks from water i will show you the uh, I'd wait for a circular here. This is advisory circular. This is the number, the purpose, background. You can download this and read it. Read it. Okay. And take care from the important questions in this advisory circular. Okay, repair. There is a video by this channel, maybe help you. I just show you. Water drain valve operation. To drain the remaining fuel and water, water drain valves located at the lowest points of tanks are actuated. For each wing, there is one water drain valve for the vent search tank close to the NACA intake. At the lowest point of the wing tank, another water drain valve is installed between the two wing booster pumps. To gain access to the center tank drain valves, it is necessary to open the hydraulic compartment access doors under the fuselage. You can complete this video with yourself. The other points, the automatic refuel operation in the Airbus 320 family. Take care from these points. Put the tanker, the truck, in parallel to the aircraft fuse badge. The aircraft button. Parallel, take care, parallel. Connect cable between the fuel tanker and the aircraft to prevent electric discharge. Maybe if you don't forget that, maybe make fire. Check water contamination in the tanker, the fuel tanker. This is R. Check water contamination in the truck. Open fuel receptacles. Connect the fuel hose, adjust fuel quantities, and the control panel and the right wing. And this is this video by Avia, Avia Learn channel. I will show 
sum of within. Just take a look for that. I will not complete this, but you can search about this and. صباح الخير أنا صحيته آه عادي أو يوم لذيذ رمضان take refuel operation an A320 refueling operation the fuel tanker stops within the safety area Obey the fuel safety and firefighting procedures. The aircraft is grounded here at the nose landing gear. The fuel tanker ground cable is connected to the aircraft. Here at the main landing gear. Before starting the operation itself, the quality of the product may be verified. A sample of fuel is taken. At the end of a syringe, a yellow rubber indicator is fixed. The color of the rubber indicator does not change. It proves that the product is pure fuel. Remove the cap from the refuel-defuel coupling. It's retained by a chain. The fuel hose can be pulled up to the wing at the refueling station. Note that the nominal refueling pressure is 50 PSI, i.e. 3.45 bars. Caution, only one refuel-defuel coupling should be used at a time. The refuel-defuel control panel 800VU is located under the right wing, near the refuel-defuel coupling. As soon as the panel door is opened, power supply is on, and all high-level lights flash. Okay, this is to just to show you, to help you for these points. Thank you very much and goodbye.